our body consists of tens of thousands of various materials bone, skin, teeth, muscle, tendons, and so many other parts make up the body. Biomaterial, as a field, is the study of our body materials. In biomaterials, body materials are split into two major classifications, which are biological and non biological materials. Biological materials is a living tissue that is treated to be accepted by the host with an appropriate biological interaction. Non biological materials consist of metallic, ceramic, composites, polymeric materials, and any material that is not alive. Biological materials consist of hard tissue and soft tissue. Hard tissue is the hard parts of your body, like a bone. Soft tissue is almost every other body part except a bone. There is one special material which is found in most soft tissues. Collagen is an interesting blend of soft tissue and structural function. Actually, collagen is a thread. Remember the sweater that your grandma made you with a countless number of stitches. Collagen structure is really similar to the cotton structure. They are very similar in how they work. Do you know the matryoshka, which is a Russian doll? The small old doll is inside of the larger doll. Thick collagen fibers are made with a lot of other collagen fibrils. Fibrils are made up of triple helix structures, and one triple helix is made of two arc chains and one other chain. Each of those chains consists of amino acid sequence. Collagen can be subcategorized into type 1, 2, and 3. Type 1 is believed to be the most abundant in the human body. It is often found in bone and skin. Type 2 is found in cartilage. Type 3 is found to be the second most abundant in the body. It is normally found in skin and muscle. Collagen can easily fall apart if a force is applied perpendicular to the strand. However, the material strength is exemplified when a force is applied parallel to the fiber. The strength can be distributed in every direction by arrangement in an isometric pattern. It can also be unified to work together in a non-isometric pattern. This unidirectional loading is called non-isometric. Like a strong rope, when the fibers are arranged in the same direction, they can resist higher forces. A structure like this is ideal for tendons and certain types of connective tissue. Loading that can be applied in all directions is known as isometric. This is common in skin and cartilage, which protects from any direction that a force is applied. Collagen, cartilage, and any other biomaterial can be donated from one of three sources. From the homograft, allograft, and xenograft. A homograft is when the patient is able to transplant one part of their body to another. This has the highest rate of acceptance. An allograft is the transplant of an organ or tissue from a donor of the same species. A xenograft is when the transplant is from a different species. This type of graft is sterilized to decrease the risk of rejection. One way to fabricate an isometric sheet of collagen is through the process of electrospinning. The process of electrospinning involves the emission of a solution from a high voltage source. It then adheres to a negatively charged collection plate. The solution lands on the plate in a multitude of directions which results in the desired isometric pattern. This arrangement is ideal for a skin scaffold. The growth of skin cells will follow the direction of the fibers when a growth factor is introduced. Skin grafts have a range of usages from helping burn victims to cancer patients. Three D printing is the newest and most effective technology to make an artificial and identical replacement of collagenous tissues. With three D printing, the grafts can be made with materials that are reusable in the body, but still provides the necessary structural support for a specific duration of the time. The future of biomaterials falls under two major categories. The first is the advancement of stem cell research to be able to regrow the body. The other is to aid the body through synthetic materials like a cyborg. Either way, the field of biomaterials is progressing at a very fast rate.